In these next three minutes, six people will die of malaria. It's 3,000 a day, and 90% of the deaths are in Africa. Many of you know this, but almost all of them are young children and pregnant women. And if you look, oh, it's an ancient problem. The malaria was described accurately 2700 BC, and the plants that are used today to derive the remedies have been used for centuries in some places. But the parasite and the Anopheles mosquito, that relationship was not identified until the early 1900s. And if you look at the map of malaria endemicity, it's almost the same map as the lowest income per capita in the world and the highest child mortality rate. Now, we knocked it out in the West, but think about it, if, if people are sick, they can't work or study very well, so it costs $13 billion a year in GDP. And now Africa's fighting back. There are a lot of new innovations that you'll hear about for vaccines and cures, but there are three interventions that the WHO recommends that are effective and work right now. Artemisimum combination therapy, it costs about a dollar a dose. Indoor residual spraying, which spray the interior walls with insecticide, and that lasts about six months. And then long-lasting insecticide nets, which cost about $10 delivered and last for five years. So there's still a big challenge with distribution. If um, you look at these, these are very bulky products. One net, 40 nets, or one bale. And you have to get these products down a road that looks like this with uh, road maintenance that takes place with whatever is at hand. And there are a lot of people down those roads, not just a few. So it's a big challenge to get, this is the last mile, what the last mile might look like. But if you ask the people who have received the 30 million bed nets and 1 million ACTs that the Global Fund delivered in the last year, they'll tell you it's making a very big difference in their lives. Uh, in this village, they say that they cannot remember a time when there were so many fat babies that, and, and you have to believe that. <laughs> and the children are doing better in school because they're able to focus on their studies, they're well rested and the adults are able to earn more income, they're working more productively because they're not sick all the time. So the bottom line is, nobody has to die of malaria today. We have the tools right now. Thanks. <laughs>